hours. Eight hours? I didn't even know you get that long. <laughs> so we uh, it say we it say we lit, yeah. All right, we lit. We lit. We are live. Yeah, yeah. How y'all doing, man? <laughs> I'm drunk. <laughs> are, are you? No. He's drunk on hot. He's drunk on live. He's drunk on live, you guys. I'm neither. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it feels good. You know, Van got the new got the new channel going. So y'all make sure y'all come on over. Baby. Love to my boy Van. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Man, I should have uh, I should have told him on IG that we was going up too, but yeah, man, yo, see, I um, man, I'm I'm excited to have have you though, sis. Like honestly, you bring you bring a different uh, you bring a different a different vibe to the um to the to the channel and uh, in the in the show, and you you like you like balance it out in a in a good positive uh vibe, man. Well, I appreciate that. Like I said, you know, I'm blessed that you guys give me this opportunity, you know, and I, I see the movement. I see where new era, like Rara said, that we're trying to, you know, bring people back to what's more important. You know, we want to come together, you know, and, and make something big out of it. So support the movement, stay positive, keep pushing in 2019. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. We, we going, we going crazy. And I got a, um, Oh, I got an unboxing. Guess what? I got a, uh, a gift in the in the mail today. That was crazy. Oh, yeah, what you get? What you pick up? Or you want um, to make you know what? Uh, I didn't open it because um it came from uh me me and my kids. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah so yeah. I didn't I didn't open it and I told them um that's gonna be the first uh video that I record and, and uh we gonna we gonna unbox this gift, man. Well, that's cool. Shout I seen he has sent pain a um pain a uh a what you call it a gift too. Like I was like scrolling to try to find some of Payne's uh content and he he sent um he sent them. Oh damn, look, look, Mob said he uh he shared the screen the stream. So we might who hey. knows? Shout out to you, Mob, Mob, Mob. What it do, broski? <laughs> Rod, we yo, what the hell's going on, Rod? Huh? I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I, I ain't slept in three days. <laughs> no, no. Yo, let me tell you. Let me tell you something though, right? You uh, you you not in school no more, bro? No, I actually just finished culinary school. Okay, you are you you a closer? Closer? What does that mean? Like you you cl you close at at your job or you open or? Yeah, yeah man, I be closing. I be opening too. Oh, it don't matter. Okay, cause. Bro, you you be on the joint like early as hell, dog. Like y'all be y'all be getting the chat popping, dog. And I'll be like, I'll be like, God damn, like, <laughs> like they making me unproductive as hell at work. You feel me? Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I work three jobs, baby. Two weeks. Oh, what? Three, man. I keep myself busy and out of trouble, bro. That's how I know. I, I know you drink coffee, huh? I know you got to. Yeah, man. I be at. I really be at Starbucks like four times a day. Whew. I spend more money on Starbucks than sneakers. Ooh, wait, more oh, power to you, my brother. That's no, that ain't great. no joke right there. But make that money. Yes, man. Yo, yo, I wanted. Yo, there was something that I put on the chat earlier, but I don't know if y'all how y'all felt about that. Like I know that wasn't no real, no real battle with the homie, but did I hold it down with the fours or, or what? <laughs> them laser fours, man. I was just talking about them things, man. I love. Them. <laughs> did I hold it down with the fours? Cause look, he he tried to he tried to uh he tried to knock me out the park early though, sis. You heard? Yeah. <laughs> his, first, his first one that he pulled out, he pulled the Travis joints out. You feel mm -hmm. me? Right. So I was like, I was like, yo, I'm a. This what we gonna do. I'm gonna match you. I'm gonna match your uh your cactus jacks, and then I'm gonna uh you feel me? Then I brought yeah. no, and then he he brought what was the next ones he brought out? Cause he had yeah he had a lot of heat. He brought out because I was I like that part. We all did that challenge too. We all going head for head. That was dope too. Yeah, um, yeah. What did he bring? Out? He bring out the uh, breads like the last. No 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 no. no. no he didn't he bring, bring out the breads. Toros. He brought out the, Toros. Um, Oreos. He brought out the Oreos. Yeah, and the Toros. No, I, no, I, I, think, I, think, I think it was just the Oreos. Oh, just the Oreos? Okay. Yeah. He brought Oreos and cements. Oh, 
That's right. He did bring out the cements. People trust Oreos and cements, and I brung um. What the hell did I bring? I don't even remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The lasers and the, the toilet, right? The ones. Well. Oh, oh, and then I brung fire reds out too. Yeah, fire reds because they all like oh they all got the Mars Blackman editions releasing this year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he try to he try to, to like make me tuck my shoe back in, but it's <laughs> real. Mystery. They they the same exact shoe, but that us us as OG collectors though that Mars that that spiz like little uh, face that that means a lot. Yes, it does. It means a lot. That's why I say I need that edition to release. Yeah. And those you can find those for a nice price too. You know, it was weird. I didn't even buy the um the motorsports, and you know how much I loved the motorsports, and I and I um those were like a highly coveted shoe for my collection and um I didn't uh I didn't get them because they didn't put this this the Mars Blackman uh face on there. I, right. that was weird. I'm like we gotta have a 40 acres on a mule. We gotta we gotta we gotta represent that. You know, because that was an epic time back then when you had that Jordan and Spike collab. But what y'all feel about the y'all seen okay y'all seen the pictures of the nines released in February 9th, right? You talking about the mini ones the blue joints? Yeah see I'm okay glad. I was like, which one are we getting? Because I was thinking we were getting the ones that was like the UNC blue color that was on the shoe. But it looks like it's the navy blue that we're getting on the I shoe. Prefer, I prefer them without that white outsole because I hate when they put a white outsole on it. Yeah, I know. You know, it's, that's just like when they did the the 72 and 10s. It's like you got that milky outsole. You're going to have to definitely. But that step patent on the 72 and 10s was right, though. Yeah. So I was like. Was that's one that they released. Right. Because I was I was like, okay, I thought there was images showing the like the white and Carolina blue. Mm -hmm. But now it's the white and navy, it looks like, that we're going to be getting on the night. And what is it, a Carolina blue uh, check? I mean, uh, gentlemen, yeah. I'm tripping. It's in the back. It's like the, you know, the Carolina blue basketball. But the majority of the shoe is white and navy. See, I was thinking the majority of the shoe would be white and Carolina blue. Yeah. But, do y'all yeah like them? Cause I I kind of thought they were clean. Yeah, they're dope. I mean, I was just I had my you know heart set on the white and Carolina blue, and so I was like, uh, it's still dope. But I was like, I, I really want the white and Carolina blue. I thought they were coming out with that. Yo, yeah, Bob said, Bob said, yeah, they switched it up on us. Yeah, they did. I was like, okay, well, as long as they don't switch up the UNC sixes, and I'm good. <laughs> Yo. Let me tell you something. I know I'm always uh I know I'm always getting sentimental. I think that's what happens when you get in your 30s. But yo, we 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 got a dope support system though. Yeah, yeah, you heard me? Yeah. We got a we got a dope support system, man. And um well people like us, you can Ra Ra, Mob, people like that, man. It's like you can't you can't go wrong. You you look forward to putting out your content. Right. And you look forward to supporting your brother or your sister. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Because I know I get inspired. Y'all inspire me all the time. Because I was like, okay, look, they're going hard. It's like, okay, I got to go hard too. You know, so it's very inspirational. That's why I say, like, we're we're a powerful force if we all get together. Because we make some dope content. Hell right? yeah. Man, I don't know if Fink was uh, asleep. She was supposed to um come on with us too, but. Yeah. I thought, does she, uh. Yeah, she may, maybe she has something to do. Come on, come on, babe. Just um, I'll move, move. It's my wife. I'm about to. My wife about to walk by. I'm about to put her on the. Uh, oh, she gonna be on chat. Well, shout out to the wife. <laughs> shout out to the wife. <laughs> it's gonna be my turn. Like, every time I'm recording, she always sneak sneaking by the camera. And that, uh, one time I'm I'm gonna put I'm gonna just put the camera on her. Hey, she gonna look crazy. Oh yeah. <laughs> The deer in the headlights, like. Does she have an interest that sneaks too? You know what? She, anybody that's around me has a has an interest in sneakers. You, it's weird because she, when I met my wife, she, um, she's so practical and and smarter than me. She, she wears stuff like uh, like Bob's and like she, like you know what I mean. She, she don't, she don't really rock with stuff like that. And now. Us being married and being together for years now, 
she got me, she she talking about um grails and got me buying grails. I'm like, when I bet you, you ain't had no damn grails. Yeah, you rubbed off on her. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yo, yo Rob, man, you ain't gonna do us like that tonight, boy. You gonna talk, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all hit me. Well, I said he's 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 tired. Like he's tired. man, get you Y'all some more, get you some get you some more Starbucks, man. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, we hear you. I've been talking the last 15 minutes. I kind of been feeling ignored. <laughs> bro, I'm hip to that already, man. I done been on enough lives with you, brother. No, blasphemy. you ain't saying there you go, blasphemy. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. What's up, fam? I'm supposed to be getting some uh, shirts made soon, bro. It's it's, it's ready to be like that, man. Oh, hell yeah. Yo, you know what? I had some... Uh, my nigga, I came, in the, I came in the game strong, bro. I had uh, merch, too. If y'all want... Who? Which one? Any of y'all got the, um, the last shots? No, I didn't get the last shots. But I, it's like, I have the candy canes. And I have the Ferraris, and I have the Black Toe 14s. I'm gonna show you these. I knew I was gonna get them for cheap. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you these sweaters. I got. A, I got a few of them left. I'll send them. I'll give them to y'all on the um. Just oh, out of love though. Let me. I'm gonna go grab them right quick. Dang, you already know I like. All that. right, got that merch. You know I like. I think that. everybody. I think everybody needs to have their, you know, their merch. So you know, to support the channels and everything. Yeah, you man. Know, I like support, right. <laughs> So my man's van hooked it up with the sweaters. Yeah, he said he got some sweaters on deck. I was like, okay, I don't think I've seen the sweater merch. I've seen know. hoodies and tees. I don't think I've seen the sweaters, though. Everybody do t-shirts and all that stuff. I ain't heard nobody do sweaters yet, so I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, I'm excited, too, because I was like, let me see how that turn out. Woke up a little bit. Printing. Yeah, on the sweater, like, how the digital printing turn out. Uh-huh. Yeah, mine, I'm, I'm, mine might be just a giveaway for, to start, you know. Um, that's that's a good thing too, you know. People love the giveaways and it's showing, you know, showing appreciation. To everybody, right, man. That's that's definitely gonna be the moves. Just make just letting people know that they care for for real, and I really appreciate them. Because, like I say, I say this all the time. You mm-hmm. know, whether people view me as a good guy or the bad guy, I wouldn't have a platform if none of y'all watched. And none right, of y'all absolutely. Oh, so that's how I feel about it. <laughs> And it's gonna be more geared towards you now that you actually, you know, supporting the movement and actually wanting to make an impact in the sneaker community the right way. Like so I you'd said, be surprised how it's gonna turn out, you know. These these men need need, need to get together, man. Yeah, they have to. It, it's like we gotta realize that we can't keep this going back and forth if we're really trying it's, to do something big. It's getting old. You, it, it's it's just it's grown men on some yeah. playground. <laughs> that, I mean, that's and it's like you just gotta squash it and move on. Or if not squash it, just still stay in your lane. You know what I mean? Like, you know, do something that's gonna be something great that's gonna grow your channel in a positive way, so you have those opportunities in the future. That's the thing. I, I, I just I don't think Shu really had a true following for real. Yeah, he got OGs in the game that know him, but he never really had a true following. You know what I mean? When yeah. I. When I look at, you know what I mean, I, probably for all I know, he could be a good guy for all I know. But you showing me something totally different on the internet. You know what I mean? So I, I, I just I can't I can't get jiggy with it. But like I said, all this negativity in this in this sneaker world need to end, man. Right. But, I mean, um, at the same time, as much as people come to us and be like, man, we tired of the negative. We tired of seeing this beef go on. But y'all tune in and y'all watch. Well, you know, yeah, just like in the real world, you know, people love drama. I yeah. mean, drama is what sells, you know, even in the real world, you know, love and hip hop, like all these reality shows is based on drama because that's what sells. So, of course, that's going to be a trend as long as it's selling, you know, that's going to be the trend. So people like to see it. They don't like to experience it, but they love to watch it, you know. Terrible, terrible, terrible. They don't want to be in the drama. They want to watch but- it. <laughs> That that shouldn't that shouldn't be what what this thing is based off. But you know, I guess you got you got people out there. I feel like uh, dep- depression makes you uh, makes you cleave to that. Mm, it could, like definitely. You know, you never know what a person is from. You never know a person's background. You know, you always you don't want to say anything to make somebody feel down about themselves, just because you know that can be detrimental to them in the end because they feel like. 
you know, even though they say words, you know, can never hurt me, you know, six stones break my bones, words never hurt me, but words do hurt. Words are cruel. Even, you know, you see kids in school, like words are cruel. And I hey, feel like words do hurt. Hey, Van, here's my thing on it, though. Y'all know if you really look and you tap into the algorithm, when you look at the amount of youth mm -hmm. that watches, mm -hmm. it's a good amount. Right. You know what I mean? So that's why I was like, you know what, man? That's, it, it, I can understand if it was just all grown people watching. Then you have your option of turning off or turn on, do what you want to do. Right. But you have a generation that loves this kind of stuff, that feeds off this kind of stuff. So at the end of the day, as influencers, this is something we can't really feed into in this new era. We can't do it. Right, because as I said, they're always watching us. We got to be in me, pers me personally, I would love if Rejuvenator or Crepa Tech or got the, even Walmart, somebody reach out right. and I'm with the boy, you know what I mean? So exactly. I think... I think that that puts a little stop it. So I mean, if I think if you really want to be successful, stop thinking about all the views and stuff you were getting, all the subscribers going up off some drama, and just put out good content, man. Uh, it, it'll come. Right, because just like I said earlier, you don't want your blessings to be blocked on accordance to somebody else. Right. You know? right. Like, that's just like with right. any employer. You have a job. You know, an employer is not going to want to employ somebody. That's causing, you know, poison within the, you know, the job. Exactly. It's causing drama. So that's the same thing with champs, you know, Nike, Finish Line. Of course, they want to have something positive support as far as um, vouch for their brand. Right. So they're going to look at, of course, you know, even, you know, even though they're big brands, they do pay close attention to what goes on in the sneaker community because that's where a lot of their money is coming from. Yep. So they want to get the ones that's going to, you know, get, as far as getting the views, but getting it in the right way. That's going to vouch and not bring a lot of drama. Hey, Van, what them sweaters at, Van? Yeah, you got them, Van. Yeah. We're waiting on the sweaters. Look, man, my, my wife trying to uh, trying to find them. You know what I'm doing right now is um, I'm posting uh, I'm posting a quick little IG. Let them know we uh, let them know we lit right quick. Know oh, okay, cool. Just ha have a. Uh, have a couple couple people pull up on us right quick, man. Okay. Word up. But yeah, that um Bobby Sneaker World. Um, oh yeah, I guess, shout out to Bobby yeah. Sneaker World too. Thank you for showing oh, up. Kicking, it with, uh, kicking it with BZ. Look, see? Yeah. Look. It with BZ, shout out. Always and this, and this crazy. Cause this was just a little test run. We was just gonna chop it up with the people. But yo. Yeah, y'all get y'all get active, man. Y'all start uh talking. Kick Bobby Sneaker World. He said the stuff is corny. It'll fade eventually. We'll get back into the sneakers soon, and that's uh that's facts. Facts, big facts. Facts. That's facts, man. Cause like I I don't know, bro. I just I'm I'm different. I'm I don't want to be like yo. I'm cutting a different cloth and blah 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 and all of that. But I just Real, real recognize real, bro. And I know firsthand from dealing with these people that they don't they 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 just try they just trying to get money, bro. Like what? they like it's like like those uh those brothers they was beefing and bro it was so many people like so many of us in their ear we were like yo Y'all cut it out. What can we do to resolve this? This and this and that. And they were like, they were just like, like two pit bulls behind a fence. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Barking at each other. And then when they seen each other in, in real life, it was a uh, bro. <laughs> they, was, they was they was hug they was hugging and snuggling for IG. You feel me though? That, man. But that. look, that that would have been good if that's what it was. What what makes it fake is when. They went back to their um when they went back to their homes in their selective cities, they were back talking, bro. Yeah, they that they, uh, they, you know, maybe put everything to the side, maybe apologize to each other and then, you know, back cool again. Or like what was this that the situation was where like maybe they hashed it out. You know, I don't know. No, they they didn't hash it out because they kept 
They kept they kept talking once they got back behind their computers and cameras. Oh, they, okay. they, they were talking like it was still it was still beef. Oh, okay, I see. Crazy, crazy. But yo, any any uh, you ever you ever feel like you um, what 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 it what is y'all uh y'all um collections like consist of? Is it prime? Is yours look like you look like me since you like primarily Jordans, huh? You already know, yeah. I'm Team Jordan to the end, but I also like you know I get Nikes too and the old school Adidas, like the Run DMC joints, like the Shell Toes. I like those as far as Adidas, but I'm a I'm a big retro. Fan. So I like the Jays primarily, but I get LeBron. I get some other stuff too, but mainly Jays. No doubt. Oh yeah, yeah. Cause I I've seen I've seen you had a um those are uh, LeBrons. You had the, that one that I spoke on last time on the last uh, episode. Yeah, we we'll do the LeBrons. Uh huh. Yeah. So, the court joints. Uh huh. The court and then the the pressures. Like I have different LeBrons, but I haven't I haven't picked up a LeBron since the 11s though. But the 16s were dope. I know no, we have- no. <laughs> you got you got some 12s, sis. Don't, they don't you got cork 12s? They huh? Don't you got cork 12s with the gold swoosh? They right behind you. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, past the 12s. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm thinking yeah. I said 12. No, I mean nothing past the 12s. I haven't picked up anything since the 12s. Yeah, what I what I what I do? I do uh I like I like Air Maxes and stuff. Do y'all do do you do vapor? Y'all don't like vapor maxes. Have you ever had a pair, try to pair on? I have vapor max pluses. I love them, man. I Are like they them. pretty comfortable, Ra? Are they comfortable? Heck yeah, I love okay, them. Okay, because I haven't tried on it. I don't have any vapor max, but I did get the uh the Nike just do it. Those are so cool. I got these right here. These are um those are nice. What the are these called? The, the black, the Black History Month joints, right? Yeah, those are nice. Like those. Now and then I have. Uh, those are probably for are they for like running or training? They look like they're like running. Yeah, like, but I just I just wear them. Uh, these they, like uh, they like casual too. Shoes. Huh? Mm -hmm. they're casual too. I wear them. Wear casual. Now these yeah, are the ones, these are the ones you talking about, bro. Yeah. Yeah, those are dope. Those are just like the you know, close to the OGs, except yeah. for the bottoms. Heck yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Speaking of them OGs, do you do you like those? Cause yeah. the blue, I, I'm gonna pick up them blue ones. Yeah, the blue yeah. ones are fire too. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I should buy the ones that's this color though, because of this shoe here, or should I just stay true and just grab them? Just to have have my OGs though, that's probably what I wind up doing. Got to keep the OGs, man. Oh yeah. yeah, no telling when those will end up coming back out because they see how long it took for them to come out this time. Work, but yo, I um, they got they got a bunch of uh, you see Tinker Tinker pushing those threes now too. Yeah, and they're fire too. Did you Tinker. see the ones that look like the Katrinas? That's supposed to be releasing. They look like the Katrinas with a swoosh. Yeah, and that's crazy. I never did y'all pick up those Katrinas. Any anybody? Oh yeah, that was a must cop for me. I wore those to New Orleans over the summer. I und I undies them there. <laughs> yeah, I undies them there. That's big. That, that's big. Now, just for that, sis, I'm, I'm gonna keep these because mm -hmm. that that white sock liner was uh was killing me though. Yeah, the only thing is, yeah, it does pick up. Of course, the sock liner. That's yeah. the only downfall. <laughs> Only downfall. They got wear white socks with it, man. That's what I do. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The only yeah. Downfall. Everything else is fire. But with the Tinker joints, they he's putting the Nike Air on the back. The ones releasing Ooh. this year. And that's that's they, they look nice too. And they so, make the swoosh blend in with the shoes, so it's like a light swoosh, so it doesn't like bring attention to the swoosh. It still look like the Katrinas for the most part with the Nike Air on the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Fire. What you think? What you think about those, right? I thought they were fine, but I was gonna bring uh bring across another shoe too. How you feel about them the animal pack that released not too long ago? The not with the uh, I think it was like the ninety fives, and it was like a pair of ninety sevens, I believe, with the animal pack. What was that the Amos? I think so. Yeah, the leopard print. Mm -hmm. I so, it wasn't. It wasn't so, something like some like these here. Yeah, I had them. I sold them joints, man. Six hundred. Have you worn them, man? Have you worn them? I paid my rent with the shoes. Huh? <laughs> <I paid> my <laughs> Have you worn them yet? 
Believe it or not, I have. I think I wore these about, I think I wore these twice. Okay, because um, I was like, I feel like I, I wouldn't be able to rock them, but I feel like I've seen them look nice on some people's feet, but I, I feel like that's it's a bit flashy for me. I fell, I fell, sis. I <laughs> fell into the hype. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is a, this is a shoe that I bought, like, it was like that inner, you know, we, we, we try to stay OG or we try to stay, you know what I mean? But yeah. you know, you have a, like just a little inner hype beast in you. Oh, of course. You know, we all do. Just like me yeah. with the Holiday 11s. You know, that's my inner hype beast. Yeah, and that, that was a, uh, that was, that was, I got that for the hype. But as I say, you rock what you like, though, because, I mean, some hype stuff is dope. Just like, you know, me with the 11s. Of course, that's going to be a lot of hype, but I like them because they're dope. So, yeah. And they lost me with the Mars Yard shoes, man. The what? <laughs> Mars Yard shoes, they lost me, man. A, a shoe in a What track, the hell is that? The uh, Tom Sack shoes, them joints that be five hundred fifty dollars. Oh, oh, yeah. like Margellas or whatever the hell they be calling them. Nah, they Mars Yard, they Tom Sacks. It, it basically like a, a Nike, uh, like a utility shoe, and they basically put it inside like this. It looked like a a a, a little trash bag. No doubt. Oh, wow. yeah, Steve, Steve Freeman, Steve Freeman in the chat too. He said, he said, what's good? What's, what's up, good, Steve? Yo, I'm gonna tell y'all something, man. Steve Steve Freeman is um he's a he's an all-star. He's an all-star of all all-stars, man. Like, like um it was people like him that I felt I felt like I was like, damn, when I when I let my channel go, I felt like I was like letting people like Steve Freeman down because he he's official. He actually won that um won that giveaway that I did when I um when I had met a, a milestone in my subscribers mm -hmm. and um I, I sent them um some Supreme t-shirts mm -hmm. cuz you know every I guess a lot of people love Supreme or whatever Not me. but he he was hella he was hella appreciative I got him I got him some Supreme shirts and I and I sent them to him oh, and um good. yeah that that's uh so you know well, major he, shout out to Steve then, you know, for the support. Man. Don't be surprised. He, 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 if he ain't sub to y'all already, he's going to sub to y'all. Oh, yeah. Like he followed me on Instagram. You know, I follow him back and he shows a lot of love. So, as I said, I definitely appreciate it. Real definitely, talk. Steve. Steve, it's people like you, Steve, that we, that we do this for. And I promise y'all, bro, this year we, we going up, dog. We That's going right. up. Just stay, stay tuned, Steve. You gonna see, man. Yeah. We going up, bro. We got a, we got a good panel. You know what I mean? Cause we taking over all two K nineteen. In case y'all were wondering, we are taking over all two K nineteen. So we'll see first better. and up. What's even better is this is almost like a must cop year for sneakers. So it's right. gonna be sneakers that you can't really sleep on this year. I mean, it's, it's some, it's some bad stuff kind of blended in, but it's a lot of must cops that's gonna be out this year. Yeah, especially on All Star Weekend. Ooh, mm -hmm. October is supposed to be another like shattered backboards, like like sneaker, but they try and make it like the band. But it's gonna yeah, be like, I saw those. They like yeah. the three .0s, right? I think so. Them joints look pretty nice. Yes. Yeah. Now they look a one too. Now if we get that 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 same uh, shattered backboard leather quality, I would love that even more. But I'm looking at, it, I'm like, man, we might probably get that that band quality. We might get that like royal. Royal quality, which I ain't mad at at all. Right, I said that'd Steve, be nice. Steve biased though. He said fours all day. <laughs> he like he like the fours too. Yeah, you know, um, yo, hold on before we before we go off. Now that shoe, um, Ra Ra, you said um, it's it's a one. Which one? The one you you was talking about, the ones, yeah, the um shattered backboard. They making it into almost like if you remember how they did the breads and they made it into like a band. They they basically made the band ones out of the breads. They're doing that to the shattered backboards in October. That's gonna be so, amazing. So amazing. how did when you say that? Like I'm trying to I'm trying to get a a, a visual. What's gonna be different? So. Um, basically, the only difference is if you remember from the uh, the bands, they were basically like the breads, but 
I mean, they just had the color scheme just a little bit different. So basically, what you see with the bands is basically how they're going to do the shattered backboard thing. Oh, That's so so no color in the um, no color in the uh, the upper toe box. Upper toe, I don't it's, know. It's got... a slightly darker orange than the shatters. It's slightly yeah, darker. Right. Just like how the band ones uh, was a slightly darker red, it's a slightly yeah. darker orange. Because mm -hmm. the bands, the bands don't have a um, the bands don't have a black toe, right? The bands uh, isn't the front all, all the front black. I thought it was black. I don't know, man. Because I be getting the bands and the braids confused. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, sometimes I don't know. Honestly, y'all gonna y'all gonna look at me like I'm crazy. I don't know what the difference is. Yeah, Between bands and, and bread ones, oh, they, they that's the same <laughs> shoe, right? Oh, it's did. basically, I mean, it looks like the same shoe, it's just basically that one was not allowed in the NBA, so that's why it's called the band because it was banned from the NBA. Mm -hmm. But everything is the same color scheme, right? Basically, yeah, basically, they look the same, it's just like slight color changes, like the red may be slightly darker than it is on just the breads. Mm -hmm. And maybe the band, maybe the band has the uh the the X on the X. back. Yeah, on that band. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're gonna do it on that one now. If they do, that'll be a plus. I would love to see, um, if they probably do like a blackout of it, or maybe do orange, maybe do white. It don't really matter. I probably prefer uh black because I don't know. I just kind of like the simple things, really, with the Jordan ones. Um, like me personally, I would like to see another top three release, like the original one of the red, white, and blue, and the black. Um, mm -hmm. who, whose idea was to do the gold ones? I didn't. I wasn't really digging that, but that the blue ones that's releasing, I think in women's sizes, that one was dope. Yeah, it is dope, and I wish they would they would come out with the patent leather, the Chicago patent leather ones, and then the ones that are all Carolina blue yeah, patent leathers. I had two. Okay. Of them. That's when I first started working at uh, Finish Line. I bought two pedal joints, man. <laughs> Got rid of them both. Oh man, I, I'm know. like, we haven't seen it in so long. It's like I, you know, we definitely gotta grab it if they do release them again. And Jordan, how long? How long has it been since we had these? Two years. Yeah, those so are three. Yeah. Three now. Three. Years. Was, it, was it 2016? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, three. I guess now 2019. Yeah. Yep. Right um. Yo, you know, y'all want to know how many pairs of these I had? Y'all wouldn't believe me, bro. What you double up, triple up? No, nah, I had eight pairs of these. Oh, are you God. serious? As a heart attack. <laughs> I, had, uh, I had eight. <laughs> I had eight pairs of these. But that when I got these, I was like, I was a I was a um super reseller too though. Oh so okay. so That's I different. kept I kept two pairs for myself and I sold the rest. And um I should have uh I should have held on to them because these these were crazy. Believe believe it or not, I sold like like two like two pairs for like two fifty, and the rest for like three fifty. But these I don't know if y'all were checking the market on these. They shot up to damn near five hundred. They did. These that went up to like four like four something. Because that's, that's so I knew you made a pretty pretty penny off of those. Mm -hmm. That's so both I'm free. Cool we. Dang, that's some serious cash. Yeah, that yeah. many pairs gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Steve. Steve said, uh, "Did did I see his part one of his two thousand one pickups on IG? You are you on um are you on IG TV, Steve? Because I I didn't I didn't see it, brother. But I'm trust me. Whatever wherever you at, I'm I'm a, I'm a watch and I'm a support, bro. Oh." He said, um, and B, I'm kicking it with B. He said, we got to show support for the crew. And then uh, Steve Freeman said, I need those black laser fours. They not dropping in my area. Oh, man. Yeah, they are fire. Mean that. Damn. So Steve must be in one of those states because, ooh, bro, they not taxing in my state, dog. So, like, I was kind of excited when that happened because I seen Steve's post and I was like, bro, you got to be kidding me. StockX is going to charge tax. Oh, but, yeah. Yeah, I know. But every, I kept looking and trying to um, press buy now and no tax will pull up. And then I got the extra information that they said that um, they're only taxing in seven states. Hmm. 
Are they general releasing those or is it pretty limited? You know what? I don't know, but those right there, I don't want to um want to sleep on. I think I want to get those. Okay. Because I bet you they may release another pair of the lasers too, another colorway. Facts. What you think, bro? Hey, all I know, man, is my my number one support system is my people's at GOAT, man. That's how I keep it. I ain't never did business with Stock X. I probably never will because I don't know. I, I'm just a guy that doesn't really like a whole whole lot of change and adjusting. And I feel like working with like I mean I mean I feel like buying from a whole another company for me personally. That's to me that's like that's cheating on goat and I, and I fuck with goat since like, excuse my language um on the <laughs> podcast. But like the like for for years I've been with like buying from goat for like four years now. So I, I don't know, man, but- You oh, stand loyal, loyal to goats. stand loyal to my goats, man. They ain't never you let me what? down. Now, when they let me down, then I'm gonna have to look out for another outlet, but I don't think they are gonna let me down no time soon. Mm. And goat, goat is official because before I was, uh, I come from the era of um, eBay and, uh, and um, what's my store in New York? Um, Flight Club. I come from the era of uh, eBay, eBay and Flight Club, but GOAT, but, um, I started buying from GOAT too. And mm -hmm. GOAT, because GOAT was like doing that whole, they were like the first people to do that um, that verification to make sure that your shoes was authentic. Mm -hmm. It would come with like a, a goat a goat card that said like it's it's authentic and stuff like that. So goat was cool, and then I like goat for um for for phone posits because you know how like phone posits are indestructible. I could buy a pair of phone posits that's used from from uh, from goat that's like a nine like a nine a nine out of ten or a nine point five out of ten that's gonna look that better than any shoe. Yes, my for the look. Purchase Yeezy. My very first purchase from Goat was a Yeezy phone posit, the black one, man. Before I actually mm -hmm. did a trade, I did a um two way trade for those with some dumbass, in my opinion. I did a two way trade. Basically, I traded him. Um, he at the time, because you remember the cements was out. Um, so it was cement force. He had they were kind of like AI ten condition, and it's so Space Jam with the forty fives with like a nine eight and a half nine out of nine out of ten condition and I just had had a ten out of ten easy phone posit he really wanted so I ain't gonna turn down two shoes for one and plus now those same phone posits you can get them now for almost nine out of ten at probably like one sixty one seventy for some easy right. phone posits. They, they better not be selling no easy phones for no one fifty no one sixty nigga like these yeah, I, I paid 180 these, one from my, great, these one of my these these foams ill as hell, dog. Yeah. Oh, yeah. These, like, these, these are sick. I know that light, that light ain't doing that solar red no justice. Or that or that gum bottom, because the gum bottom is is uh is green because it glow in the dark. You know, I wish yeah. I would have picked up those uh mirror foams. I hate I didn't get those. Yeah, yeah. them joints were so those are yeah. And the only thing yeah. is I heard that they do like like they, they become like the material starts crumbling though on them. It chips, it chips, yeah. yeah. But those are dope. Like I, I hate I passed on those. Man, I think they, I think they have raffle tickets for those. Though they were, those were exclusive, yeah. I believe. Yeah, they were hard. I, to get. That's um, game. I didn't even think anybody was using that. They um kicking it with Beezy said that um, have y'all ever used the SneakerCon app? You know, I've I I downloaded that app and then I let it go. For for memory purposes, but I never bought none from there. But it says or or Kick Square, Kick Kick Square is a low key joint. I use Kick Square, and um, like that's those are like like my my low key my low key joints. You feel me? Yeah. But yeah, um, I never used neither one of those. I haven't. Um, I'm not familiar with Kick Square. I think. Uh, usually mine are like I'll get them from online. I like, use it sneakers or like Foot Locker, Finish Line. Um, you know, every once in a while I may get from Villa or something like that. But that's kind of only my go-to. But back in the day, I did a couple times get a couple pairs from eBay back when you know the receipt and everything. 
but uh, mainly just stick to like the actual the retail spots. I'm not even you know familiar with a lot of the other spots. Y'all think buying shoes from eBay is safer now? Can you say that? Uh, I think it, it got worse now. I wouldn't. I mean, I don't. I haven't bought a shoe off eBay in like maybe like three years. I heard yeah. it. And now with all like it's just a tremendous amount of fakes floating around in general. I think it's probably a lot, a yeah. lot more uh, of fakes out there than it was back then. You're right. What you got? Yo, Steve Steve Freeman said he says C C got some fire in the background. Need a fire extinguisher in that room. You feel <laughs> I appreciate it, Steve. I I got only a little bit of heat. I got some underrated heat back here. Well, I appreciate it, man. I think I think I might have bought these from uh, Kick Square. These, these now these were um a release, another release that I bought off of the um off of the hype, and because I was trying to fill a void, I I wasn't able to get the Don C twos, mm -hmm. so I got these. Now these these are the Don Cs. This is you see that just done on the tongue. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that separates these. They like started mass producing this same silhouette, but without without this on there, and they just call them what they are, which is the legacy. Yeah. Three, and started making a bunch of colors. Now this one came with the just done on the tongue, and the um, and I think a di a different box, a just done box. But they should have kept these more limited because these these were considered a brick. Yeah, those are flames. Like those are those are nice. I like those. I those think they were pretty cool because of the because of the colorway. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. but, yeah. And know. they had ankle support. Like so, I bet you. You know, you bring that on the court. They have good ankle support. You don't need no ankle braces and nothing like that. Yeah, yeah. Was the, they cut them high, right? <laughs> yeah, they cut them high. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, those are nice. So they released like different colorways in those too. They were pretty fire too. No doubt. They said, um, but with eBay, you okay? Um, Steve said eBay has so much UAs on there. But what I was thinking, he already said. He said, but but with eBay, you are a hundred percent protected, so it's okay to cop. Right. Um, That's what I heard. And kicking it with beat, he said that those uh those joints are um those Don C's are hard. Um good looking fam. Now there was I still got shoes in my collection now that I bought from eBay. Like when I was buying from eBay back in the days, I was like getting all my phone posits up. So I would I bought the um the weatherman's um phone posits from uh from eBay twice. And um You still bought, have those? The weatherman's? Yeah. Those yeah, are my, those school kicks. I man. keep I keep all my phone. All right. What 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 y'all don't know is I am a I am like a super foam head. Mm -hmm. Like I buy Jordans, I buy Air Maxes, but I'm I'm a foam head. I got I got hella foams. Like Wow, I haven't seen those weathermans in so long. Like I remember everybody was on those back when they released. Yeah, I, let me see. I'm always it's weird. Like I'm always like close to like where my where the shoes are that we speak on. Ooh, we and they in good condition too. Oh, boy, those oh these all my, I keep all my shoes in in pristine. It's see, you know, like when we got this many shoes, it's hard. It's hard to wear them. Yeah, it is. It is to wear them on a consistent basis. So it's like I don't like if any if any of my shoes start. Turning like beaters, they. I just, I don't know. I I wouldn't even. I, I honestly wouldn't even see that happen until like maybe a couple, a few years from now. See, because I feel like with the phones price point, I feel like it's well deserved. I mean, because it lasts for years and years and years. Because I know I've never had any like like mine still look DS, and I've bought the mine in the rain and everything. That's why I'm saying like for that two fifty price point, I feel like it it fits it because the quality is gonna last you. It's well, yeah. it's well worth it. It's nothing you can do to a foam, fam. Like you can, you can go kick trees with a foam, fam. Right, you gonna know? <laughs> bounce back, yeah. <laughs> a scratch on it. You better, you better look. 
you better look out for the tree after you kick him with the foam. You feel right. me? The tree right. has more damage than the foam. <laughs> well, that's what? dope. I didn't know you had. I see. I didn't know you uh, you play phones too. I had no idea. So, did, were you able to pick up the mirrors? No, no. I tried oh, to yeah. though. And, um, but after I after I found out that they uh that they chipped a lot, I didn't I didn't get them. I got something that I could wear that's um would kind of give me that same effect. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right Those are dope too. And I oh, bet you that will last a lot longer too than the mirrors. Yeah, these these are um because they won't they won't chip. So so it looks like uh did you have did you get the Phoenix ones, the purple ones? Oh, hell no. yeah, I need those too. Those ones. I need those both of those. Yo, those 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 are kind of one of my foam grails too. Yeah. The Phoenix, the Phoenix ones. What's what's another foam grail? My um the Oregon, the Oregon ducks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those um, are fine too. Like on feet, they look so good too. I want a pair of those so bad. Yeah, those are those are the nice right there. I really do. I think Super Duper Ruba just uh did a review on them joints too. Yo, Super Duper Rupa, his name been popping up a lot, man. Yeah, what y'all think, man? Should we, should we, uh, should we get him on Soul Search or what? Yeah, he just followed me. Uh, I think yesterday, so I'm gonna hit him up and see if he would like to hop on. No doubt, no doubt, cause um, I got, I think I got the next two shows I might have. Uh, we 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 booked, and then we got to do that um, that old girls um. Show that one's gonna be fire. We will we'll, uh that was goats. That was uh one of goats' ideas. I know he was uh he was thinking he was thinking wise when he came up with that one. Right. So you know, man, it's gonna be a good year for Soul Search, man. I can't, I can't wait to see what's got in store. Man, I'm ra, I'm 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 excited, bro. Cause fam, I I um. I jumped into the I jumped into this game, bro, and I went I went dumb, my nigga, with the uh the unboxings and the vlogs. I went I went crazy with the unboxings, bro. I, I bought like, you name name a shoe for 2018. If it wasn't like a like a off white or something, bro, I probably bought it, did a review. And if I wanted it, if not, I got rid of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Were that um, but yeah, fam. I we 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 going we going up, man. We going up, and I'm I'm just so happy on the um the team that we put that we put together, fam. In that in the in and the extended family, like we we all we all so search family, dog. Right. Whether whether you're part of the original panel or not, we all rah rah um Davy um. All of them. I gotta do. We gotta do another one with Frank Nitty too, cause yeah, that 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 channel was on. That one was on my channel, and I I um, all the people that I that I um did on my channel, we gonna have to do that show back over, cause I felt like I might have did them a disservice. Damn, did uh, did C fall off? I don't know. I couldn't. I haven't heard her in, a, in a little minute. I thought I was looking at her, bro. I'm gonna invite her again right quick. But yeah. yo, what's your what's your um what's your next um cop, bro? Man, my next cop gonna be all the way in February because January ain't did shit for none of us, man. I, <laughs> January ain't do a day. And you know, I actually it's a second part to the podcast that I I was gonna do tomorrow, but I'm gonna just cut it because most of the shoes that's like Nike and other miscellaneous. They all basically one sneaker model, but just different, like three, four, some of them two colorways dropping in one day. And I don't get that. Like when we was just talking about the Vapor Max and all that good stuff, like those are shoes that are excellent quality. They up there in price though, but they good quality. They're very comfortable, but they just, they, they making it kind of like, if you remember when the up tempos had first came out, we was like, yeah, man. Got these Scotty Pippen up tempos, man. They got the Chicago Bulls color, the, the George Towns, the Supremes, all that. And it was something special. And it's like when Nike sees something sell out and they see people get hyped about it, they just keep on making more pairs of it. 
like the up tempos. Then you had those uh, Nike Air Mid SFs, the Special Forces that with the little um with the little um I think the Margiela type uh, zippers on the back, so you could just slide your foot in, tie up your shoes, and all that stuff. I had a pair of them joints, and I just gave them away to somebody that I went to culinary school with. That like you know what I mean, because he ain't really had no drip, and them joints was like reflective. <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, I just gave them away. But I sit and I think about it. I'm like, you know, I understand the business aspect of making money, the business aspect of, you know, maybe somebody may not like that colorway. You know, so I don't, I can't hold, you know, the 270 against Nike because whether it was a grade school or women's shoe or men's shoe, they put out some dope-ass colorways on almost every single last one of them 270s. But it's, it's so many. It feels mm. like... It feels like shoes that we fall in love with, they they make it not special no more. And that was what that was my great with off white. Virgil Abloh is somebody that comes not too many times in a lifetime, and there's so many creative people, whether it's white, black, Hispanic, no matter the color that you are or your culture, or ethnicity. It's so many people that have creativity and so much knowledge within, and they finally get to share it with the world. And then it's like they get with brands with Nike and Jordan or Adidas or Vans or Converse, which is okay, which is um, which is special. But it's like your crea- creativity goes way too far. And it's like, what do you have for the future? To me personally, when you put out ev- when you put so many eggs in one basket, and it's like they forget about what does the future hold for for the company? What does the future hold for my creativity? What if this is the last of what I have in in, in my brain for right now? So what, so what am I going to have to hold on to? So that's why I like the fact about what Yeezy has done. Yeezy, I'm so glad that they made those statics and those the reflectives and non-reflectives as almost, I mean, even though where I stay, they sat around for a day, the non-reflectives sat around for like a, a cool little day and then they all sold out. Um, And then they kind of sat just a little bit online and then they, they sold out. But it's like, you know, that was something that was almost felt like, Something of old, we never really seen back at the time when Yeezys were first bust, busting on the scene. Yeezys was just sitting online. Are you kidding me? You, you when Yeezys, as soon as they got on the website, they were gone within seconds. As soon as they hit the stores, whether it was in Europe or Asia or small boutiques in America, because you know Yeezys wasn't that mainstream um, as much in the United States. They were more like in Europe and stuff like that. So like when they finally did hit. Stuff like that wasn't sitting. And then when they just started making more and more and more, and then to me personally, I think on a level of maybe that was something done intentionally because they seen the resale value of the shoe going into the thousands and the two thousands. Even Yeezys that were um I think the red Octobers and the Yeezys that are the Nike um that are still the the one with the black and then you have like the pink on the insole. And you got that green glow on the outsole. Those are still selling for thousands of dollars. So I mean, if personally me, if I'm if I have a shoe brand, if I'm Adidas or if I'm Nike, you know, and I'm looking at yes, I'm making my money. Yes, I'm making sales off of a sneaker that is Kanye West inspired, this Kanye West creativity. But if I'm selling for 200, 200, 220 bucks, but somebody's flipping that for over a thousand to two thousand dollars, I might feel some type of way. And that's why I kind of feel that 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 these shoe brands are doing. Yo, and that's crazy. They said, um, they said, Steve said tomorrow, another Yeezy, uh, another Yeezy restock, bro. Yeah, I think the, um, the butters. Like, why, why, why would I be interested in buying the butters when they look like the cream, the cream Yeezys and they look like everybody in the damn Adidas factory got in a circle, sung Kumbaya and pissed all over him. And they said, oh yeah, butter. That's what it looked like. It looked like the cream Yeezy that everybody in Adidas took a piss on and they're calling it butter. Hmm. And I got I got I got rid of those, bro. Man shit, I didn't even buy them. And we had we actually at my store they sat for a good minute. The sesame sat for a minute. The uh the semi frozen yellow sat and I actually, the only pair of Yeezys that I have, I've had other colorways before. I've had the bread, I've had the cream, but you know, it. Just, I sit and I look at them. I'm like, you know, look at the value of it right now. And I'm glad that I did go and I resold them because, I mean, the breads didn't re-release, and I kind of wish I didn't sell them, but I got the money that I wanted. 
but the cream's restocked. And I think these I seen a rumor that they were restocking again. And then the zebras restocked once. And I, I, I don't they probably may or may not restock again, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, you guys. Yeah. I had to reset my internet router. It's all good. But yo, that uh as um as far as those re those restocks, rah rah, I think Kanye has something to do with that, bro. Cause I don't know if y'all remember, there was like a um like last year, Kanye was like he recognized the problem of the uh the scarcity of the Yeezys and he was like everybody will have their Yeezys. Do y'all remember that quote when he said sure. that? I do remember that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he wanted to make make it like how Jordans were, I guess. Like just to have more sure. quantities of them. Yeah. And you want to know something funny now? What's now funny? I just I just laugh because it's like everybody because I'm 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 around different types of sneakerheads. I have OG sneakerheads around me. I have people that are sneakerheads that buy what they like and they're not influenced by anybody. Then I have people that they're like want like they they want it, they want to be hype beasts. You feel me? Right. Because the original hype beasts, they were getting the Yeezys and stuff when they were limited. You feel me? Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now that Yeezys and everything are so easy to get, they don't want people them. are just racking up on their Yeezys and then trying to jump right into the hype beef, beast wave. And I just, I just laugh because I'm like, like, bro, <laughs> they it's not, it's not the same, bro. It's not. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling the uh, the basketball Yeezys. They actually look, you know, pretty good. What y'all feel about those? Y'all yeah, liking the, the basketball ones? I'm not mad at them. They look decent. Yeah, it's they look a lot better, better than the. <laughs> In my opinion, I know a lot of people love Yeezys, but I feel like the basketball ones actually look a little better. That's the thing about me, man. I, I have a, a um, a, I have a lot of love with, with what Kanye West has done for the music industry. And then being that guy, if you guys looked at so many rappers that have gone into trying to get into the industry of fashion and have failed tremendously, or whether it wasn't them really technically failing, it was just people moving on to a whole new trend or people just moving on to other means of fashion that's hot in the streets now. And, you know, kind of like what you've seen with Jay-Z with Rockaway. Rockaway was something hot at one point, and now yeah. it's like if you, if, if you caught wearing Rockaway, you know, you either of age or you are kind of laughed at because it's like, why you got on Rockaway? It's 2019 or at that time, 2018. So, I mean, it, it just is all about the times. Now, do I think Yeezy... And Kanye West still can dominate because if you guys remember back, Kanye West literally just won. Uh, I think he had sneaker something of the year or, or something like that not too long ago, and that's that's an achievement right there. So that means he beat Pharrell, he beat Drake's OVOs, he beat basically almost every basically every Michael Jordan retro that released for that year and every other Nike shoe. So that tells me that you know it wasn't really just a trend; it was the fact this man had a talent he got with the right team and they supported him all the way and now he's doing the damn thing. But mm -hmm. I, I think Yeezy, the only thing Yeezy needs to do really is not make it so limited but not so GR at the same time. Then they'll be okay. Yo, man, what do we what do we want though, bro? Because they they we they've gave us both, fam. I don't. I don't think they really gave it. Gave us the middle. Like I don't think they really gave us kind of like the middle child option. I think we got the 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 baby. Then we got the oldest. And then they like, they said, okay, well, the middle no child. Mm. That's just how I feel about that situation. Now, what you think? yes. What you think, sis? Um, I think well, like what Rob was saying, like the middle is probably going to be this new basketball wave. Yep. That's gonna probably play the middle child. Yep. You know, because we all, you know, gotta have the Stephanie Tanners in the family. So that would be the Stephanie Tanner. So of what, yeah. So <laughs> what, what do y'all think about the fear of God Nikes? I hate them. <laughs> I hate them. See, I have mixed views. I mean, I kind of feel them because I'm a big, I like Air Force One special fields, and I kind of get that vibe like a sneaker boot. So I like the sneaker boot vibe, but. I don't know. I think I would still, I would take my Air Force, you know, special fields over those, but 
I think they will look better on feet than they do in pics. Man, shout out to Cutie Queen. She she hit the nail in the coffin. She had the picture of the fair guys alongside uh, one of those boots that you put on your foot. If you like, if you have an injured foot, them little boots that you put on. She had a, a boot alongside the fair guy, and it was just spot on. I said, man, this this lady. This well, lady. she had the orthopedic boot. Yeah, I said. Oh, yeah. Steve said he cut Reeboks. He loved Reebok. He said, well, the old school, the old school Reeboks. How y'all feel about old school Reeboks? Yeah, I feel you, Steve. Oh, go ahead, Ron. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all I used to wear. I mean, I, we were, my mom was buying, like I said, I ain't got no shame about it. My mother was buying me shoes from Payless. Um, like I said, I used to wear the shacks, and then if I did actually go to other shoe stores, it was Reeboks. It was a Reeboks that was like $59, $49, $69. And then eventually, like when I was like, Ma, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm in school, I'm getting teased. Like, I, I ain't got no shoe game, you know what I mean? I need, we need to pick it up somewhat. And then we finally ventured off and, and got other things. But where I'm from, really, Reeboks is hot. And Fila's is, is semi kind of like on and off the burner, but where I'm from, New Balance has always been a thing. New Balance has always been our fashion. Like New York has the the Tims, they got the butters or or whatever color that you want to rock. Mm-hmm. They did, but for where I'm from, it's it's always been New Balance. Oh, that's pretty dope. I know New Balance. New Balance. Oh, that's pretty dope. And, you know, I feel like that's interesting where you have, you know, different cities or different states, you know, you're having one shoe more prevalent than others, and then you go to the next state, and it'll be a whole different vibe. Hell yeah. And I like that, too. I like that. But universally, I always thought that Air Force Ones was always a universal shoe. Every, every Throughout the whole U.S., everybody, every state got some damn Air Force Ones. Oh, yeah. Definitely. That was, that was a New York thing, too, though, believe it or not. We rock, we rock, we rock uptowns heavy up in uh. Yeah, that was. Back home, fam. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing, you know. Like, I, but I feel like, yeah, like what you guys are saying. Um, you know, I rock because Allen Iverson was my favorite player growing up. Hell so yeah. of course, I love the answers, the questions. So of course, Reebok and the old school Reeboks too, like just the casual shoes. Like, I feel like that's another underrated brand because I feel like they bring that heat. Most he definitely, he rocked cons the different color ones. He oh, Steve Freeman said he rocked cons the different color ones when he was a, when he was a kid. I think we all probably had those uh the converse right, but the um I had the grandma Ma joints. You ever had a ooh, pair of those? Oh yes, you still had those or no? No, how? Oh, okay, I wish. <laughs> that, those. Those right now will be flames, huh? Ooh, like that would be. Would be. Yeah. Wow, the grandma moms. I remember on that Family Matters episode. Remember you gave me rock those? Who had them, Eddie? No, um, who was the guy who was wearing them? I he was on. One, he was on the episode, and he came in and he was playing basketball with uh, Steve Urkel and them. Mm. You talking about Waldo? No, nah, he was the it was the um I can't even think of his name, but he was the one he was wearing the grandma moss and he was hooping like he was he he was basically a grown man, but like he was wearing like the little wig and everything like that, trying to play into the ball, <laughs> play ball and stuff. And he had those grandma moss. I'll never That's forget that. That's what I always think of when somebody Larry Johnson that. himself. That was probably Larry Johnson himself. Because you remember that was his character on TV for that commercial. Okay, yeah, I think it was him. I think it was him that was wrong. Oh, you said he had the wig on? The grandma yeah, wig? Wearing the wig and everything. <laughs> Hell yeah. Nah, that probably, yeah, that probably was him. Because, you know, Family Matters was, was big. Yeah. Well, oh, I, yeah. I can't find my damn sweaters. But, um, yeah, grand, um, family, Ma- family Matters was big, man. But, oh, yo, yeah. I tell you what, we, uh, he said he rocked the cons. Okay. That, um. We probably we probably go go dark on it, man, because we 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 could do this all night. You feel me? And I know we got to be way past fifteen twenty minutes. I mean. Oh yeah, we probably been going for at least an hour, I would think. Probably. Oh shoot! It looked like two hours. You gotta be kidding me! 
How the hell we do that? That long? I think. Well, I think when we went live, it was probably like an hour. But when we were in the dark room, you count that too. So look, we we gonna go we gonna go in the dark room, man. But um, so y'all 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 plug up, man. Y'all plug up. All right. Well, this is C Sneaks TV. It's a place to be. You can follow me on IG at C E E S N E A K S two three, and you can also follow your girl. What's up to your girl? on YouTube at C-E-E-S-N-E-A-K-S-T-V. And like my bro said here, 2019 is our year. Every day we lit up in here. Shout out we to some lit. Do We What's lit. Right, right. Give it to him, baby. You already know this. YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's your boy, Rod Rod, with the stickers and hands over here. It's definitely always popular, y'all. Y'all already know to follow me at Instagram. Same as my YouTube. Rob Rob from that four and know I bangs before went up to the day. I definitely die. And if I get rich to the millions, I'm definitely gonna move the hell out to the LA Times. You already know this, baby. I'm out of here. Hey, I like that. <laughs> That's what's up, man? That's what's up, man. And it's uh it's your boy Vanity Kicks, man. Just got my channel re-uploaded, man. So you know, y'all already know what it is, man. My new aka is big big brother Van, man. So you know. Vanity Kicks on IG, Vanity Kicks on uh, YouTube, man. Yeah, yeah, holla at us, man. We we out, bro. Already. One. Already.